Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got quite a bit of news to cover, starting with a big performance increase in games on AMD's mobile APUs, Xbox is going to be everywhere, USB 3.2 is here and it's really confusing, and a GTX 1660 and 1650 pricing leak. Speaking of pricing, you can get an incredible price on a new GPU with today's sponsor, PowerColor, who's offering a limited time deal on their RX 580 Red Dragon. It's an 8GB card, so you know you're set on RAM, and it comes with two of these games for just $169.99. Now the offer ends March 3rd, so follow the link in the description to get yours before they're gone. In 2017, AMD got serious about their mobile lineup with the release of their Ryzen mobile APUs. Going from Ultrabook processors to even high power chips, the company clearly wasn't playing around. Unfortunately, there have been some problems. Besides the fact that it released without very many notebooks, the biggest issue with Ryzen Mobile was their lack of graphics drivers. Simply put, AMD hadn't released any since launch, leaving it up to the laptop's manufacturers. Basically, there were less updated Ryzen laptops than there are positive user reviews for Anthem. Well, don't worry, because that's all changed, as AMD's most recent Adrenaline update has added support for Ryzen Mobile with continued updates moving forward. Not only that, but there's been a bit of confusion going around as to whether this includes their desktop APUs, and while they've been getting periodic updates, if you visit the FAQ, you can see they're now giving all updates to desktop APUs as well. And this has already helped the chips pretty drastically, as AMD shows the Ryzen 5 2500U getting as much as 17% higher performance in esports games when compared to their launch drivers. Of course, that's likely the absolute best case scenario, but according to AMD, it averages around 10%. So these are numbers that matter here, meaning Ryzen APU owners could download those new drivers, like now, well after this video. Next up, it looks like Microsoft could be getting very serious about moving Xbox everywhere. We're now even talking PC. In a recent Windows 10 update exclusively for those in the Windows Insider program, users were able to download State of Decay for free, but were asked to tell them if they encountered any issues when installing or launching the game. That got some users curious, and Therot.com published some of their findings. For one, installing the game prompts a legacy DirectX install. Then the game actually downloads from XboxLive.com instead of the Microsoft Store server, and drivers that are installed even make reference to Durango, the codename for Xbox One. Basically, this could mean Microsoft is going full tilt, allowing Xbox games to completely play on PC. That, or maybe it'll just be much easier to port over. Next up, USB is getting a serious speed boost, but they've apparently decided to go full NVIDIA when it comes to confusing names. The new USB 3.2 is going to be double the speed of 3.1. We're talking 20 gigabits per second data rate. Here's the problem. They decided to call all previous generations from 3.0 forward USB 3.2 as well. Bang. Yep, USB 3.2 can literally mean three different speeds, 5, 10, or 20 gigabits per second. To top it off, they're using convoluted marketing terms, but supposedly they aren't allowed to be used in actual consumer-facing content. You'll basically just get their marketing term with USB 10 gigabit per second and 2x2. Still really confusing, especially since they already have names for the previous two generations. Lastly for today, DigiTimes reported on the release date and pricing of NVIDIA's GTX 1660 and 1650. Now, unfortunately, they aren't naming their sources, and while I'd still label this one a rumor, it definitely makes a lot of sense. According to them, the GTX 1660 will be releasing on March 15th, with the 1650 making its way to shelves the following month on April 30th. As far as price, it's... meh. Obviously, it depends on the ultimate performance, but given the 1660 Ti is just a little over the 1070, I'd assume the 1660 is slightly better than a 1060, and according to this, it still sets you back $229. Now, that's not too bad, but without added features like ray tracing, it seriously leaves a lot to be desired. As for the 1650, it'll set you back an unimpressive $179. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the 1650 or are you finally ready to game on your Ryzen laptop? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.